empathic dreaming, essentially when you are dreaming another person's dream and it feels like yours, um, but when you wake up in the morning, it's like, that was my dream. It's like this confusion. And that's an indicator that you were empathically dreaming another person's dream. You might even feel like, I thought I cleared that. Why is that showing up in my dream time? Oh, it's because you're literally in the dream of another, dreaming another person's dream, feeling all their feelings, maybe even reacting the way that they do. And that's an indicator that you have information and you're working in dream time, helping another. And I'm just going to take a look at what is it that you can consciously do when you go to sleep at night, when you're an empathic dreamer? First of all, discernment and awareness that you're an empathic dreamer. Secondly, being very conscious of, are you choosing to assist and serve in dream time or do you need a night off? And I recommend if you're an empathic dreamer, recognizing that that's part of the work that you're doing in other dimensions, but you might only work four nights a week or three nights a week, and then be very mindful that you're inviting your energetic self to not be working in dream time, but be resting and restoring. Or you might intend that when you go to sleep at night, that you're only going to do two hours of empathic dream time work instead of all night long, and then you don't wake up fatigued. And I'm just looking at any other information about empathic dreaming. So it's discernment, boundaries, awareness, using your position in the physical dimension to make a request for you to reference an appropriate dimension that you can dream in where you have guides, support, a crew of helpers in your empathic dream work so that you don't have to be doing it alone. You can also do a little mantra, energetic mantra before you go to sleep where you take a few deep breaths, you close your eyes, you pull yourself into your divine line and you say, I invite some energetic aspect of me, my body and teams to send appropriate energetic information to whomever I might be helping in dream time. Sending massive amounts of energetic information from your higher self to theirs, where they have the capacity to receive it, shift it to the degree that they choose. And so before you even go to sleep at night, you're intending that some energetic aspect of you is sending massive amounts of energetic information to anybody that you might be helping in dream time. You're sending the information before you even go to sleep. You could also call in guides and advisors to help them. And you don't even have to consciously know who these people are. So it's like a dream time crew, helper crew, healer crew that's going to anybody that you might be working with in dream time. And you just keep holding that space for the sending of information, the returning of responsibility, calling in a crew of beings of love and light to encircle, to support whomever it is you're working with in dream time. To calibrate, invite by simply making the request that you invite your higher self, body, to higher self teams to calibrate your fields for appropriate dimensions where you can serve in dream time in an empowered, balanced way where you are modeling the solution, sending appropriate energetic information, not taking on their challenges, not responsible for shifting their, their issues, sending appropriate energetic information and modeling a solution. And then you have stronger boundaries with your empathic dreaming.